latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. We're just two days from thousands of people heading to downtown Springfield for the seventh annual Red Sox Winter Weekend. And preparations are already underway at both the Mass Mutual Center and MGM Springfield. At least 5,000 people from across New England and the country are expected to attend the two-day event. Red Sox Winter Weekend begins with a town hall Friday at the Mass Mutual Center, gates opening at 4 p.m. There were major delays on the Mass Pike Wednesday for those traveling eastbound through the Ludlow area. Crews were called to a tractor-trailer crash around 11 a.m. The right lane closed down as Department of Transportation crews worked to clear the scene. The driver, a 45-year-old female, was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. State police tell us she was issued a citation. And former Boston Celtics player and coach Chris Ford has died at the age of 74. He played for the Celtics from 1979 until 1982. During his first season with the team, Ford became the first NBA player in history to hit a three-point shot. He was also an assistant coach for the 84 and 86 championship teams. Ford became the 11th Celtics head coach, leading stars such as Larry Bird and Kevin McHale. In a statement, his family said he had a great love for his family, the city of Boston, the fans, and the entire Celtics family. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. We have winter weather advisories that begin at noon on Thursday and will last out through Friday evening for all of Western Mass. This includes all four of our counties here in the area, plus to our north, south, east, and west. We've got those advisories extended. And this is for a fairly potent storm system. It's going to bring a good amount of precipitation, around an inch of liquid precipitation. And the Springfield area is likely to see most of that as rain. But as you head north up 91 into Franklin County, it looks like a wintry mix changing over to snow. And then getting into the hill towns, more of an icy mixture is on tap for Thursday afternoon and evening, transitioning over to snow eventually through Friday morning. Roads are looking to stay mainly wet in the valley, though there could be some slippery or slushy spots. Once you hit the hill towns, though, that's where most of the impact will be felt. Temperatures each afternoon, well, tomorrow, looking like upper 30s. We've got wet weather that starts in the afternoon and will be heaviest Thursday night. Friday morning, a period of steady snow and then scattered snow showers throughout the day, with most coming back above freezing. We're dry on Saturday, but then Sunday, another potential first alert weather day as a nor'easter comes through may bring some heavy rain and high terrain snow Sunday night into early Monday, along with gusty wind. A third storm possible by Wednesday of next week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather and exclusive content.